And so in the old days, the old church, they had high regard for the anointing. It wasn't just some light thing. As a matter of fact, they had high regard for the anointing oil. It really, for them, represented the presence of God. We, we, we treat the anointing oil or the anointing common in this hour because anything that was anointed automatically became holy. Watch this now. Holy ground. Well, what makes this ground in here holy? Because the presence of God have, watch this now. When we came in this building almost two, three, three years ago, this was an adult daycare. I don't know what they did before we got here. I don't know what they did in the back rooms. I don't know what kind of real activity that took place in here. Spiritual may it be. But it was not holy until we walked in here and God sanctified this place and the whole facility became holy ground. Why? Because it's associated with God. Now, if we came up in here and played bingo, it's only as holy as its association or its connectedness to God. So ground can be holy. The Sabbath is holy. Why? Because it's set apart. The holy place is holy. Why? Because God's there. God's holiness permeates, watch this, name, watch this now, God's holiness permeates everything touched by him. Tell your neighbor's neighbor, have you been touched by him? Don't say that lightly. Come on, say, I've been touched by God. Say, I got the touch of God. You know, you know, you know, old men, old, the old saints used to say when, when someone was anointed, they had the touch of God on them. And so in the old days, the old church, they had high regard for the anointing. It wasn't just some light thing. As a matter of fact, they had high regard for the anointing oil. It really, for them, represented the presence of God. We, we, we treat the anointing all or the anointing common in this hour because anything that was anointed automatically became holy. Holiness has cleaned you up to the point where there's an ornament of grace on you. The meek will he beautify with salvation. That's the result of God's holiness now. Holiness has made you beautiful. The Bible says, worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Do, do you know how he cleaned you up? How, how he done renewed a right spirit within you? How he done took all the muck and mire out of your spirit? There's still some stuff that he's dealing with, but he done took so much out of that Glory to God, that when you come before him, you come before him clean. It's, it's no, not by the cleanness of your own hands, but by what he has done. He has cleaned up your life, and he's allowed you now to approach unto him who is holy. He's literally gone in and renovated your life from the inside out. You could not do it. He has now beautified you. That's why you, you can worship him in the beauty of holiness. But holiness has cleaned you up to the point where there's an ornament of grace on you. The meek will he beautify with salvation. That's the result of God's holiness now. Bless you. We pray that the message has been a blessing to you. And we'd like to encourage you to continue to go to our YouTube channel and uh, partake in these messages. We believe that each week there'll be something once again that will benefit you and look forward to up and coming events that also may come up and flash on the uh, message and video. We believe that the Lord will bless you richly as you continue to partake. God bless you. We love you.